Hi guys, I'm D, author of the Consumed by Heat series and one half of DNJ. And I'm Jay, the other half of DNJ. And this is DNJ Bookshot. Welcome back to our channel. Now, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so that you can be notified when we post new videos. Today, we'll be discussing Make Magic Mine by Shauna Swenson. Make Magic Mine is a frothy romantic adventure with a hint of old New York glamour and a dash of magic. It, we'll go ahead and go through the book description so that if you've never read it, you know what it's about. So initially, I'm just going to read directly from Amazon here. It's only available on Audible though. It is only available in, audi in Audible versions. So it says, Jilted at the altar, small town librarian Claire is forced to go on her romantic honeymoon in New York City alone after enduring one too many meals or two as one. Sorry, after enduring one too many meals for two as one, Claire invites a seemingly harmless little old lady to join her for afternoon tea at the plaza. Unbeknownst to Claire, said little old lady, is actually a grand wizard who bestows Claire with a magical amulet that makes her the sitting queen of the magical community. Claire is swept into a gilded world of New York City wizards and a bitter powder struck and a bitter power struggle for the throne. With the help of a cursed former prince, Claire must untangle this web of deception and find the magical community's rightful leader before her honeymoon is over. So that is the description, guys. As you can tell, it is filled with things that will be spoilers. So this is your spoiler alert. Spoilers are ahead. If you've not yet read meet magic mine go ahead and head on over to audible and give it a listen and come on back it isn't a ridiculously long book i think it's about seven hours or something like that, that is so well it may be long for some people yeah true <laughs> so if you haven't yet listened to it dedicate a day or two go ahead and plug it in while you're doing your house chores and come on back when you're done if you don't mind spoilers, stay. Go ahead and stay. We're going, we're going to jump right into our thoughts and discussions. So without further ado, Jay, what did you think of Make Magic Mine? Well, all right. So, you know, it, with all of the uh, our very long break of not actually reviewing a book in such a long time. So, yeah, it was actually good. Yes, I picked this book. Yay for me. So, all right after listening to the whole you reading what that that thing with the blurb was yeah it's kind of lame but overall with the book i don't mind it it's it's actually good it, it it's a really slow burner so that is one of the the, the thing that I, I found even though it was slow i was engaged to find out what's going on because this book the book actually had like a kind of a a mystery kind of feel to it you're going in not knowing who to trust who who is telling the truth who is not you know is that kind of a, a book it was uh so yeah it, i liked it it was okay it was a really nice coming back party to review books that's what i really thought of the book overall okay okay well, um, here we go, guys. Here we go with the stuff I liked and disliked because I didn't like, I didn't love this book. I liked it. I think it was okay. Like, essentially, if you if you haven't picked up from the blurb or how we were talking about the book, it's essentially, uh, it's not really paranormal romance. It's like an urban fantasy. I think I, I I think I would call it that. It it surrounds romance and wizards so and magic so i think i i think I'll, I'll put it in urban fantasy because it's like it's humans mixed with magical beings so yeah i think i'll, I'll call it urban or, or even magical realism 
it's it's a, it's a hard book to to slap in one genre it really is because it it has a very simple magic system which for me was both a pro and a con and i'll tell you why in a bit but overall i think it was a good book i i i didn't love it as i said but i didn't have many many problems with it 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 went along it was paced really slowly but i think that was because that was done strategically because this is a woman that just stumbled upon having magic she went to new york city to have her honeymoon right she wasn't going there thinking oh wow she's today i'm going to become a witch and i'm going to not only be a witch i'm going to be the head of the wizard community so it was like okay so i i got why they did it slow because it's not like the typical young adult book where the the teenager or yeah the teenager is going through high school and learning from someone above above her this is a woman a grown woman that fell into magic and has to basically teach herself how to maneuver the how to maneuver the magical powers that she's stumbled upon and who to trust who to pass on this power to because she she doesn't want it essentially so i i understood why it was slow what i didn't like was the magic system okay all right before before i i rain on its parade let's say the magic system was somewhat taught out but a lot of the times it was somewhat convenient Very. it was it, it was simple to the fact where it was convenient and that i i just couldn't get into sure they did i guess they didn't want to treat her like a child like going through the normal um way of having like a wizard that is in the in the system before guiding her the sort of had that but they didn't guide her with powers but most of the book the other wizards didn't even know she had powers she just read the spells from a book and surprise surprise it, it happened i just thought that was very convenient because like anybody can read spells i just found it convenient that the very first time she read the spell from the book whoop coffee came i just i think i would have enjoyed it better if she had if you saw the struggle like somebody that's just stumbling upon the magical community isn't going to automatically oh just suck in everything that they tell you if i've grown my whole life not knowing that magic was real and wizards were real i'm not going to just assume oh it must be true and then i'm going to read spells and get magic is going to to mag it's going magically magic is going magically okay mm -hmm. my vocabulary is is shot right now but it's not going to magically appear in front of me and i'm going to assume that oh yeah i can do magic i just i just would have preferred for her to probably read the spell and something else happened maybe she was supposed to get coffee and a frog came on the table i don't know but i'm just saying i would have preferred to see her struggle and i would have related to her or appreciated or believed it more if she had some form of struggles along the way and then came into her own, her own. i just didn't buy it when she she actually broke the spell the curse over the, over the prince quote unquote i just didn't buy it i didn't buy it because it was just too convenient do you agree or is, no, it that, no, no. is that just me no you're you're on basically in the right uh, track it, everything that you have said is accurate because that's the same way that i felt when reading the book yeah you know uh, she's a librarian so that's basically her little superpower as well you know the reason of deduction however i do agree with you if if there was some form of a failure in her attempt to use magic then sure yeah i would have agreed with you um the whole part that you were trying to say about uh that no one knew that she had magic power no one knew because it was never in history they don't know what would have happened in with a person that is non-magic you know so it was kind of a learning curve for her and we were on that journey but as you said the magic system would and it to me it felt like as if she was a natural so there is no yeah which is boring ain't nobody that perfect it, come it's, on it's not even say that it's boring it's just very unrealistic yeah no no not saying that the story itself is boring i'm just saying the concept of somebody just learning to do something and magically they're perfect at it is boring you want to see the nuances you want to see like in real life people fail 
you want to see people try at first and fail and then persevere and, and continue to the right. I mean, th- I mean, sure, there was a there was a, a time. I think it was with the love interest gave her the book about with uh kin- with kids a uh, 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 kids for magic, a book that kids would use to basically perfect their magic art okay sorry yes that's what i wanted to say even though that was a case that she was trying to basically uh the right yeah that's what happened i thought she got all her books from the library no she got one book from the love interest where he gave it to her and said listen this is this is like a beginner step on how you can basically it was the part where she was at the library she was reading the book i believe and then she was trying to go invisible for a little bit anyway moving on so yeah that's most basically it so even, oh when she was going to send a message out no that's kind of advanced but it was the part where she, she kind of flipped through the, the pages and saw how she could turn herself invisible but anyway yeah even though that part was there it wasn't enough you know it would have it would have been good to to, to put oh but then at that at that time she had already been using magic though she had already broken the curse by herself true true and then that's where it was but it's baby steps you it's like you you're using magic without any form of for foundation in terms of using it yeah and that's but that's what i'm saying her baby steps the baby steps that you're talking about came after the grand event is like she was able to break a whole curse that that more powerful wizards and, ma- and witches before her couldn't do or didn't even know was possible and she was able to do it without any physical evidence, without any form of training, without just reading the words, without any any being any lessons in actually in enunciating the actual spells. She just magically went ahead and read read words that she said didn't even look sometimes like it was of the English language, wasn't of a language and of, it, of it this had, world. It had a language from Latin. German. Right, it was a mixture of languages, and she was just magically able to enunciate all these words perfectly to break a spell. I just didn't buy it. I didn't it, buy it. It wasn't explained, but let's assume that because she's a librarian, so she read a lot of books. Anyway, that's that. Um, I've read a lot of books. Don't mean that I'm going to go ahead and fluently read something in Greek, Russian, or 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 or, or Latin. You gonna know that I'm not from that culture. It's not going to be said correctly. So I didn't buy it. All right. So just to correct you there, uh, yes, I believe p- other mag- magician or wizards, as they call themselves, would be able to break it because she was trying to to find get help in terms of to have someone to break it for her. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I'm not saying that no one else would could have possibly done it if they read if they found the book because that's how the magic system is set up. But the 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 more powerful witch, the former queen that gave her the amulet, had been trying for years to break the spell on her son because that's what she wanted. She wanted to make her son the new leader. She had been trying for years and had was never able to do it. Yet still here is this untrained witch who stumbles upon a, a, a spell in the library magically because it's a magic library and she was just able to stumble upon it no one before her was able to go there and stumble upon it really she was able to stumble upon it read the words fluently and break the curse on her first try yeah, that without was anything else it would I, I i would i held hope when the lights went out because i was saying okay at least maybe something went a little bit but it wasn't it wasn't even her she did the spell flawlessly without any any repercussions without any training without any nothing nothing was awry she just magically did it really i just didn't buy it i don't think there's anything you could tell me that would make me buy that part of the book no i just didn't didn't believe the good thing is is that she's a good researcher yeah well she's a librarian so i expected her to be good at research and and she was and she was able to figure out the curse that was used and how to break it so that's good but uh i think this video is going a little bit long so i guess we can go ahead i mean if you have anything else that you wanted to discuss regarding the book no that was it if i go on i'll just be continuously coming up with arguments why i didn't buy that part (laughs) yeah well it's it's, it's, it's very (laughs) self-aware neither of us agreed that the, the magic system was very 
it simple. It was very simple and convenient, sure. Yes. It was still an entertaining read. I, I, I like the slow burn for this one where I, it, it, to me personally, I was a bit on the edge because I'm like, all right, because it had a, 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 a mystery kind of feel. I don't know if the guy that she met at the bar, I can't remember these, these characters' name right now, but the guy. It was a good romance. It, it used a love triangle. Um, there were two two potential love interests. If as the story went on, one got plucked away. I did buy the romance. I'll give it that. I don't. I don't know how deep I didn't buy the deepness of their connection, but I did see that I could see them actually becoming friends and and going. Yeah. I did. I did. I could actually see that part. So as a romance, sure. As a fantasy book, eh, iffy. But. It, it was okay it was okay for what it is put together everything combined it was entertaining it was an entertaining read oh i'm jumping into my review so let's just go into our star ratings and then i'll just continue what i was saying let's jo go over to our star ratings all right and you can go first all right so basically i'm gonna i'm while going through the book really really uh, anyway, you know, I'm not even going to go into it. I'm just going to say, so my rating for the book is 3.75. All right. So you're giving it a 3.75. As I said, it was, an, it was an entertaining read and I get that. And for, for the romance aspect, I bought it. For the magic system, it was a little bit... It was a little bit too convenient for me. So i i still enjoyed it but because of that it it got dropped down in ratings a little bit for me so you're giving a 3.75 i'm going to go ahead and give it a three so together from dnj that's that's um the 3.75 plus three that's 6.75 so together it's a combined rating of basically 3.4 all right so Let's just bump it up. So it's a combined rating of 3.5. We'll give it that, you know? No, no, no. 3.4 seems accurate. Yeah, but we can't write 3.4 in Goodreads. So, so <laughs> we'll give it a 3. That's our version of it. <laughs> So it's a, it it's a three it's it's a it's a low 3.5 it's like it's actually 3.75 but a low 3.5 let's just call it that all right it wasn't it's, it's still worth a read i think that if you enjoy simple books you love this one it's something that you can go through quickly because it's not as i said it is entertaining um there were just bits and pieces in there that i didn't appreciate or that jay didn't appreciate but if you like simple reads you'd love it so go ahead and check it out i'll drop a link to the audible section or the amazon section i'll probably put the link through amazon below because that's easier for me to grab for you guys and if you did go ahead and have other comments about this book you read it and you you had other comments you completely disagree with everything we're saying let us know in the comments below if you agreed with everything we said still let us know in the comments below go ahead and hit that like button so you know that you, we know that you appreciate content like this and that we will continue making it and we'll feel like we're doing something correctly <laughs> and we'll try to to review more books all right yeah of course well it is book chat in to be fair we've been talking about the boys and umbrella academy which are all comic books but we were just talking about, about the tv tv show version so i mean let us know what you like we'll do content that you want to see all right so that's been our video until next time what should they do jay subscribe and continue listening to my wonderful voice <laughs> Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and ding that bell so that you'll be the first persons to be notified when we upload. Thank you so much for tuning in to DNJ's book chat, and until next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.